So, chat, well-known uh, far-right freak and Lord of the Groypers, uh, Nick Fuentes, uh, was recently in the news for something uh, really interesting that happened. Uh, basically, he tweeted a tweet. Uh, they got a lot of people uh, very, very fucking mad at him, and rightfully so. And, uh, you know, some people took it a little too far and went as far as to, like, dox him and stuff. I understand, like... People don't have any sympathy for Nick Fuentes because of who he is. It's just, look, I can't, you know, encourage or condone or approve of doxing. I just can't do that. You know, this is the same thing that when right-wing fucking freaks do this shit, you know, we, we call them out for it and rightfully so. Let's not stoop to their level. I just, I can't condone or encourage that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, they did end up getting doxed, which led to someone going to their house. And apparently from what I'm hearing... Uh, this person rang their doorbell, and uh, in response to that, Nick Fuentes decided it was a good idea to spray them with, like, pepper spray, and then push them down the steps, and then proceed to take their phone from them. And just, like, look, I get it, you know? Um, showing up to somebody's house uninvited, not smart. Not only are you potentially going to get yourself into trouble or potentially legal trouble by doing so, depending on what you do while you're there, uh, but also it's, it's really dangerous. Like, don't do that. doesn't matter if you're a fan of somebody or if it's a case like this where you're showing up to the house of somebody you dislike, uh, do not show up uninvited to people's homes. You're just asking for trouble. That's another thing, like, just like the doxing, I can't condone that sort of thing i can't encourage it i i just can't do that it's not a good idea don't fucking do it okay uh but in any case i'm kind of getting a little ahead of my house self let's go ahead and let's get into this what is the tweet that nick fuentes put up that uh, understandably upset a lot of people uh what was this tweet right here and this is in reference to uh you know obviously donald trump won the election a lot of people are seeing this as like, you know, women's rights being taken away, more specifically women's reproductive rights, you know, rights to abortion, right to contraception, uh, you know, all of these things, right to, you know, access to, to birth control, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, basically women's rights to, uh, you know, do what they want to do with their own bodies uh, being stripped away. And Nick Fuentes thought it would be a good idea to respond to a lot of valid concerns that women have in regards to this uh, by saying, your body, my choice, forever. Yikes. This is a yikes on so many levels. Because it really does reek of, like, conservatives thinking that they get to choose what women do with their bodies on that level. But also, this kind of feeds into, like, rape culture. Essentially, you're saying that, like, men get to decide what women do with their bodies, whether they like it or not. And that's very yikes on Sony. I don't think I need to explain it. It's it's a very fucked up thing to say. And uh, people weren't too happy about it. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at some of the responses. Uh, we have uh, this person saying, sorry about your small dick, mate. Hope that gets better for you. Jesus. Uh, this is just a minx from Twitch. Uh, you say Christ is king, but you know he's not fond of homosexuals, so good luck getting in. Yeah, there's this like ongoing like theory that like Nick Fuentes is like a closeted gay, which to be fair, there's nothing wrong with him being gay. There's plenty of other reasons to like dislike Nick Fuentes. I don't think being gay is one of them. Um, but uh, yeah, there's all these theories about him being gay because like he's like never had like a girlfriend as far as we know. And the only date we're publicly aware of that he ever went on uh, was with a cat boy. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, just a minx kind of throwing in some jabs there in regards to that. What do we have here? Your body, my choice. Uh, this is the most self cock blocking slogan in the history of slogans. Your desire to control our bodies because you can't get laid without coercion is straight up pathetic. The wannabe fascist podcaster who told you that other people's bodily autonomy was a threat to your masculinity forgot to mention how weak it makes you look. Damn. It's true, though. Uh, your body, my choice. What about this date with the cat bo with Catboy Cammy? This is the one we were talking about. This is the one I was talking about. Holy shit. So the only time we've ever known him to go on a date was with a literal Catboy. Like noon or one, and then I just kept like watching <laughs> videos. I, was, I just kept watching. I watched... Um, 
a lot of videos about dinosaurs. People have give, been giving me shit about, I said I don't believe in dinosaurs. I was doing some research. <laughs> about that. Watching like some, and then I just kind of got, then I just got sucked in and then I was watching videos about the end time. Let's not forget Nazi adjacent cowboy. I mean, yeah, you're literally hanging out with like an actual fucking Nazi Nick Fuentes. So absolutely. Um, this means that women want abortion to abort mistakes, low value male, and trick a high genetic male, six inch, uh, six wallet, and six tallness, so that they can keep messing around and giving it up to anybody to wait nine months to see if the guy is really high value, and if not, abort it. What the fuck? This is what this is the, like. What these people really think about abortion it's fucking nuts hey aren't you the same nicholas fuentes who shit himself while doing a one mile run in high school wait did that actually happen is that real lore did he shit himself while running a mile in high school what the fuck this person says your nuts my mouth uh and then i'm not going to show this next one because this next one is uh the docs and i'm not going to show that on stream for obvious reasons but uh oh we got some community notes here what do these say uh, having sex without a woman's consent is called rape. Yeah, this is true. Wait, this guy is a pedophile? What? Hold on. What? What is this tweet they link to? Misogynistic Christian fascist incel Nick Fuentes says that once he turns 30, he'll probably find himself... Oh, yeah, that's right! I forgot about this! He'll probably find himself a 16-year-old child bride. Right when the milk is good, I want to start drinking the milk. What the fuck? I forgot about this! I forgot about this! No, bitch. I want to drink it straight from the tap. I want it raw. I don't want to wait a moment. Right when the milk is good, I want to start drinking the milk. Same thing goes with women. I don't want to turn 30 and find some 20-year-old, 29-year-old woman that I have something in common with. And it's like, hey, properly aged, like wine. Women don't age like wine. They age like milk. They don't age like wine. That's not how their hormones work. That's not how they work. Yeah, I got to find, I got to find my 16-year-old wife. Probably when I turn 30 or something. Because here's the thing. I don't want to be like... What the fuck? I heard about this, but I don't think I've ever actually seen the clip. What the fuck? Let's say I get married to an 18-year-old now. Six-year age difference. When I turn 40, she's going to be 34. Ew. Well, if I'm 30... And Jesus, what the fuck? She's 16. 14-year age difference... When I'm 50, she'll be 36. When I'm, when I'm 40, she'll be... T but wouldn't he be gay since having sex with a woman is gay? Yo, true. He did say that. 26. Then now we're talking here. Now we're cooking with gas. Now you can see a, an alternative vision for how, how things could be. I want a 16-year-old that's untouched. Untouched, pristine. Oh, my God. This really grosses me out. The way he... Oh, God. I mean, it was gross enough that he's talking about how, like, in his 30s, he wants to marry a 16-year-old. That's gross enough. But this whole, like, getting into the description of, like... Ugh. It's just... Ugh. It literally... literally it really weirds me out. Untouched. Uncorrupted. Innocent. That's what we all want. Uh, and, and all 16-year-olds want... Let's not forget that this is the conservative male mindset. I mean, you literally have people like Sneeko literally like publicly advocating for lowering the age of consent. So you're not wrong. An older guy who's like capable and strong and everything to uh, sweep them off their feet. That's what everybody wants. That's what everybody wants. Oh my God. This is fucking gross. I, I, I totally forgot about that. Oh my God. That's insane. Anyway. Let's go ahead and let's move on. So now we have the clip of the incident that I mentioned before. As I mentioned, you know, don't condone this, obviously, but, uh, you know, Nick Fuentes got doxxed because of their tweet that understandably upset a lot of people. They got doxxed, and uh, this person decided to show up to their home. Don't do that. Okay, I don't care if you're, like I said before, if you're a fan of somebody or if it's someone you hate. Like in this case, you know, I think a lot of people... Uh, fucking hate Nick Fuentes, rightfully so. He's a piece of shit human being. Don't go to his fucking house. 
Because not only could you potentially get yourself in trouble, but you're putting yourself in a lot of danger in the process. Just don't do this shit. But uh, here's what happened. Nick uh, Fuentes pepper sprayed the woman who doxed him, allegedly. Um, that is incorrect. Drama alert spreading misinformation as usual. Uh, it was not this woman who did the doxing. The doxing had already happened, and they decided to use that dox to find his house. Which, again, don't do that. But anyway... Uh, common drama alert L spreading misinformation. Anyway, here we go. Hi. Oh my God. What, what are you doing? Jesus. So he didn't even like, he didn't even like talk to her or anything. He just instantly jumps out of the door and pepper sprays her. Hi. Oh my God. Wait, so she didn't even ring the doorbell yet. Look at it. Hi. She hadn't even pushed the button yet. He just instantly jumps out and pepper sprays her. Hi. Oh my god, what, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. So she goes to ring the doorbell. He jumps out the door and pepper sprays her, pushes her down the stairs, and then he takes her phone. Hi. Oh my god, what, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he definitely pushed her down the stairs because you could see. She's on the floor. You see that? So he pushed her down the stairs after pepper spraying her and knocked her onto the floor. What a piece of shit. Again, she shouldn't have been there. In all honesty, she should not have been there. But, like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. I wonder if he, like, gets himself in trouble because of this. Because you know what this reminds me of, chat? You know what this reminds me of? Let me see if I can pull this up. This reminds me of the boogie thing. Boogie, boogie 2988. Um, gun. Let me see if I could find this. I'm sure I could find an image of this. Yeah, the gun thing. This literally reminds me of the boogie 2988 gun situation. You guys remember this chat? Let me bring this up real quick. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. You guys remember this shit? A troll showed up to Boogie's house and he decided it was like a good idea to fucking pull a gun on him. And Boogie got in trouble for this. Boogie ended up like getting charges pressed against him for this because he fired a gun into the air. It was like reckless like use of a firearm or whatever. I don't know like the actual legal term, but like he got in trouble for this. So I wonder if we're going to see something similar with Nick Fuentes, if he's going to like face charges for this because... This is technically, while you can make several arguments, you know, against this woman for showing up to his home uninvited and trespassing and whatnot, I, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, there was no conversation. Like, why doesn't he just, like, through the door say, hey, don't come, just leave my house, okay, or I'm going to call the cops. Like, Boogie should have did that, and Nick should have did that as well in this situation. Just say, leave my home, or I'm calling the cops, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to face some kind of criminal action because of this. Hi. Oh, my God. What, what are you doing? Jeez. Yeah, he, he pushed her down the steps and she fell down. Took her phone. Like, what was the point of taking the phone? Like, I feel like he just, like, set himself up for even more trouble by doing that and you could tell by the video like it was deliberate like he had every intention of taking the phone like it wasn't like an accidental thing where she dropped it in his house like it, it flew into his house or something and he like didn't realize it was there it was very deliberate he took the phone yeah he, he took her phone like intentionally like what the fuck was the point of that anyway so there's the clip I want to take a look at this article real quick from the uh, Chicago uh, 5 uh, news outlet. Far-right influencer Nick Fuentes accused of spraying and pushing a uh, Berwin woman downstairs. I think that's how you pronounce that. Yeah, that's theft, exactly. A Berwin woman alleges that the far-right influencer Nick Fuentes pepper-sprayed her and pushed her down his front steps on Sunday. Marie Rose, a 57-year-old writer and co-founder of vegan lifestyle website, captured the incident with a video on her phone. The incident comes after Fuentes' address uh, leaked online last week. 
Again, we don't condone doxing around here, obviously. Uh, after he posted on X, formerly Twitter, your body, my choice forever, as the 2024 election results favoring President-elect Donald Trump rolled in. Fuentes, a white supremacist and Holocaust denier, this is true, these are things that Nick Fuentes is known for, who has praised Adolf Hitler, is a Lyons Township High School graduate. He drew national headlines in 2022 after he denied, uh, or he, he dined rather, at Mar-a-Lago with Trump. That's the crazy thing, right? Like, Trump doesn't like when people call him a Nazi, yet, yet he's literally at Mar-a-Lago breaking bread with a literal fucking Nazi. Uh, so he, was, he dined with Trump in Mar-a-Lago, though the relationship has frayed. Rose had heard of Fuentes, but knew little about him until the post went viral. After his address leaked, she saw that he lived about 10, mile, uh, 10 minutes away from her. She decided to go to the address on Sunday. As she recorded a video she was going to send to her friends, a passing driver said she should ring his doorbell. She followed through, hoping to speak to him directly. I didn't expect he was going to answer the door, but if he did, I was going to ask him, what are you thinking posting that kind of hateful, uh, violent rhetoric uh, to your giant platform, she told the Sun-Times. Uh, I hate to break it to you, um, Nick Fuentes does not give a fuck about the fact that you think his rhetoric is violent and hateful. Like, he's intentionally trying to be, uh, violent and hateful. But, yeah. Before Rose could ring the doorbell, that's the crazy part, she didn't even ring the doorbell yet. Fuentes opened the door and allegedly sprayed her with something, which she thinks was pepper spray. The video she posted on Facebook shows her falling to the ground, uh, which she said, uh, was because Fuentes pushed her. Her phone fell with her. Rose curled up into a ball to brace for more physical violence, but Fuentes instead took her phone into his home. The person on the street who told Rose to ring the doorbell called the police. They took her account of what happened and also spoke briefly with Fuentes, she said. The police also retrieved from Fuentes the now-broken phone, so he, he broke her phone. Like, it wasn't enough for him to try and take her phone, he broke her phone as well. What a piece of shit. Again, to be clear, she did not need to... You shouldn't have gone there. You you should not have gone there. But, like, holy shit, that doesn't give him a right to, like, fucking assault you and then steal your property and destroy your property. Rose said her right arm is bruised and in pain, and she planned to get it examined by a medical professional. In a statement to the Sun-Times, Fuentes said, Don't show up at somebody's front door looking to cause problems. He did not give an account of the incident. Rose said uh, her address has leaked. Rose believes supporters of Fuentes have swatted an act where one tells an emergency service to go to a person's address, her home a few times, and she believes they're behind multiple Domino's orders that have come uh, to her vegan household. Yeah. I can guarantee you that, yes, 100%, it was his followers that did that. 100%. Like, this is why I say, like, don't engage in this, like, doxing and going to, like, his house IRL and stuff like that because you, would, you disagree with his views or whatever. Because this is the same kind of shit that these fucked up people do. And rightfully so, we criticize them for it. Don't stoop to their low. Don't, don't do the same kind of shit that they do. Because then you're just giving them an excuse to like engage in this kind of behavior even more. Don't do it. Rose said she is seeking legal counsel, but hasn't decided whether to press charges. While she doesn't regret what she did, she wouldn't recommend others do the same. I actually agree with you. Don't do that. Not only are you potentially going to get yourself into some trouble, potentially even legal trouble, but as you're seeing with Rose here, you're putting yourself in danger. Don't do it. It was just a moment I got carried away, she said, but I've been really heartened by the response from the world, uh, really, of support uh, towards me. So, there you go, chat. Nick Fuentes uh, assaulting a woman who, yes, she showed up to his home uninvited, and you shouldn't do that. Uh, but again, that doesn't give you a right to assault someone just because they showed up at your house and rang your doorbell, okay? Uh, this is, you know, very similar in a lot of ways to, like, the boogie situation. Just because some internet troll shows up at your house doesn't give you the right to fire a shot into the air to try and, you know, scare them away or anything like that. Just like Boogie got in trouble for what he did, I would not be surprised if uh, Nick Fuentes faced some kind of legal action uh, for his action here as well. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, holy shit. What the fuck? What the fuck?